So, another collection video. I've actually took them down off the shelf and put them there because I was standing on this wooden Greek chair and I did, you know, balancing precariously and a few of them fell down. So I've put them down here so that, <laughs> so that you know, I'm in my 50s, man. You, you know, I, I can't balance like I used to. I can't balance my friends. So I, <laughs> I brought them down so I can and show you. Anyway, this is uh, Dawn of the Dead, the director's cut. Um, this is a, funnily enough, this is an Hong Kong release. It was one of, the only, um, one of the only releases that had the full director's cut and it had that nudity on the school bus that was cut out of different versions. And I really like the cover on this. I, sh I should upgrade this. Yes, I should. So I kind of like it as a remake. It's totally different from the George Romero one. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, a, it's, a it's a good little movie. I don't, I don't care what people say. Evil aka Tucano or Tukako, whatever it's called. It's, um, I think it's Greek or is it a Turkish film? I can't remember. I think it's a Greek film. Good little movie. It is, it came out, came out over here in the UK. This is the US release, the After Dark Cinema. But yeah, track this one down. It's a cracker. It's a, it's a lovely little gem, you know, as, as it says, severed heads and buckets of gore. It's a, it's a good little film, you know. That I just don't expect like you know high production values and stuff like that. Inside Deep Throat, a documentary on one of the classic adult movies of all time, Deep Throat. Uh, Los Sin Nombre, uh, based on a story of Ramsey Campbell. Um, yeah, if you read the book, it's it's a cracking little movie. This is the the Spanish disc subtitles, of course, but and again, just a cracking little movie. Um, Pretty, and pretty close to the book as well. Um, this one's just come out. Um, I think it was in America. This is uh, I son no poro. It means uh, I think it's I'm not scared. Some, trans, translates something to like that. Again, good little thriller. Um, good little movie. And it's definitely worth tracking down. Again, Italian disc, subtitles. Uh, well worth your time. Good little movie from, from way back in the day. Kiss of the Tarantula, little exploitationer, girls, spiders, and uh, she trains them to, well, not trains them, but, you know, <laughs> they kill people. It's, it's, it's good, good little, good little movie. Uh, Mansion of the Doomed, this is Dutch DVD, um, not the best of quality, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to upgrade something like that, but it's, it's a, a video shop uh, classic. The Woods, another little movie worth tracking down. Um, this is the old American DVD. I think this might have just come out on Screen Factory or Shout Factory, one of those. The Looker, my mate Steve gave me this. Again, nice little gem of a movie, and it's come out on it's on the Premier Collection um, uh, over here in the UK. Frankenfish. If you know that I like giant crocs and monsters and stuff like that. The, the cover's shit-tastic, um, but it's, it's a good little good little movie. Good good fun. You, you can't go wrong with the old monster movies. This is the... Uh, I told you, I, I had one sealed up. Um, these were cheap in Poundland. Um, Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is the remake, but yeah, I've got a couple of different versions of them laying around. The Undertaker. Now, this, this is the old Code Red disc, which is a bit of a botched edition. That's why I've kept it. Um... Vinegar Syndrome done a really good edition somewhere. Uh, I can't find where it is, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you another date. Um, but yeah, I've actually got the, the original work print. Uh, I think they've done that on the Vinegar Syndrome as well. Final score, Chris Mitchum. Now, th th this is, you, you, you've got to try and track this one down. This is an old Dutch DVD. If you like Mad Insanity, this is one for you. Asriel... I know um, Mondo Macabro putting out an Azrael movie, but, you know, one of my... If you want to see batshit insane movies, and you've got to track down that director, Azrael. Got a couple of cinema. These, these are bootlegs. I mean, they're, they're, they're like the old rank cinema adverts and Pearl and Dean, old UK TV adverts. I used to edit TV adverts and cinema adverts together. When I was doing um, the cinema club, I used to take stuff off of here and make my own trailer reels put film trailer reels together and stuff like that. Um, used to be good. Good fun, that was. Um, good period of my life. Colour Correct My Cock, which is 
uh, put together a trailer reel of old classics and stuff like that, and the guys talking about them and stuff. A bit booty, but there, there was a Blu-ray and DVD. They, they self put it out, and uh, well, well worth tracking a copy down. You know, if you like your exploitation trailers, Demonia, which I've got on Severin Blu-ray somewhere over here. Um, this is the old Screen Factory. I'm, I'm going to probably put that as a trade at some point. Get rid of that. Cronenberg's Rabid. I've also again got this on Arrow, but I think it's got some um, extras on there that that's not on the release. That's probably one of the reasons why I kept it. And plus, I do like Rabid, and it's David Cronenberg. Strange, um, Strange Vice of Miss Ward. Yeah, again, no shame. I think I've got another copy of this on Blu-ray. Uh, just upgraded. Great, uh, Jello, The Blob, classic Chuck Russell. And it's just a great film, just good old, good old fashioned monster movie. He went on to do what is it, the mask and stuff like that. Prom night, Jamie Lee Curtis again, just not going to upgrade. This is a cracker, D. Snyder's Strange Land. This is the old American DVD. I know this has come out on reissue. Summer of Sam. I guess you can call this like horror exploitation. It's you know, this old uh, Spike Lee, at, at one of his best points in in his career to be honest danger diabolic you know i'd like a uhd of this you know it's why i've hung hung off getting the blu-ray i know there's various blu-rays out there but i would like definite 4k edition of that uh more brains a uh, return of living dead documentary cracking little documentary there satan say this which you know i've done a bit on our adamson before and stuff this is a hard box i'll probably get a trade for this because you know, I've got that really good box set there. Wrong turn. I kept the old DVD of this. You know, I really like. I've got a soft spot for the first one. Um, American Killing Style, as it says from the director of Samurai Cop. Definitely worth tracking down if you haven't seen this or Samurai Cop. Um, this is an old uh, Roger Vadim movie. Fuck it, my brain has gone. Um, Blood and Roses, that's it. This is like a limited edition version. If you've never, if you like your gothic horror and cinema, Mel Ferrer, uh, like I said, Roger Vadim, at his finest, to be honest. Um, there was an old SP videotape from back in the day. But if you like your gothic horror, this is one definitely for you cinephiles out there that like your old black and white stuff. It's, it's well worth tracking down. Thundercrack, of course, this is the short version. The updated version was done the extended cut was done by um synapse which i don't think that that edition will ever be beaten to be honest um uh, the, Be the beast the beast it's got all the different versions on there all different cuts limited edition as well um probably hard to track down now i know it's come out on the uk but it's different um different cut this is a dvd version Tenacious D, I don't know why that's up there. It should be with me music DVD, so I'm going to put that to the side there. Savage Cinema, which is all like bike exploitation movies. Cheap and, and cheerful, you know. If you like exploitation movies, worth tracking down. And again, another music, but a, a good one. <laughs> a good one, though. It should be with me music DVDs. Um, Joan Jett, Bad Reputation, all about Joan Jett. Classic musician, so I'm going to stick that over there as well. Got some uh, Nazi exploitation, SS Hell Camp. You gotta love the old uh, uh, Nazi exploitation movies. Um, got Beast in Heat over there and all that sort of thing, which is that one. And Elsa Fräulein and the SS. <laughs> good, good, sleazy, trashy fun. Women's Camp 119, which is Bruno Matai. Fully uncut, you know, I mean. Some some companies never gonna put this stuff out nowadays. SS Girls and SS Experiment Love Camp. Again the old screen factory discs and stuff like that. The Abyss, which I know is getting a release. I'm probably not gonna buy it to be honest. I haven't watched this in many years. I might stick keep that out and give that a watch. Night of the Living Dead remake nineteen ninety, Tom Savini one. Um, I'd love to see like the director's cut come out uh, on 4K. Maybe someone find the original 
cut of it and put it out. But um, yeah, I'm not going to upgrade until then. This is a, a good little gem. Karen Black, Mike Patton, Susan Trailer. Everyone knows I like Mike Patton. I'm a big fan of his music. Firecracker. If you're into David Lynch and a little bit out there, this film is definitely worth tracking down. Firecracker. It is. It is a little firecracker, let me tell you. <laughs> um, bloody body, blah, 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 blah. Tongue twisted there. Bloody muscle builder from hell or in hell. Yeah. Is what it is. I know someone's released that in the States, but I'm not I'm not going to upgrade. Kronos, um, Guillermo del Toro. Definitely would upgrade this. I know it's coming out. It's got This is the old DVD with like a slipcase on it and stuff. Definitely one to check out. And yeah, like I said, I would upgrade that. Cube, the first one. First one's always the best, isn't it? Let's be honest. And it's a reason why I've kept it. It's the old Artisan DVD. Man Out, this is a little cracker. Um, good little movie. This is fully uncut as well, the UK DVD. It's quite a nasty little film. Um, it is released in the States as well. I think it's Art Exploitation that's put it out. Teeth. The Extreme Edition. Hollow Man, which I've never upgraded and stuff. So it's just one of those. Zombie Doom. I've got the Blu-ray with the, the movie. But this has got the dubbed on it. This got the dubbed version. And it's also got Zombie 9 Extreme Pestilence and other trashy extra, extras. Le Track, which is a French film. This is worth your time as well. Little revenge film, shall we say. Um, yeah. It's if you haven't seen this, it's it's an odd one. The atmosphere in this is pretty creepy, you know, and you can tell from the cover it's a little bit out there. Hobo with a shotgun. I've got a Blu-ray of this as well. I love this film. I think it's it's great fun when it come out. I think it was a return to that old school, you know, exploitation of trauma sort of movie, and uh, it's good, just good. I haven't watched this in a while. Ty West's The Sacrament. Should really check it out again. You know, I do like Ty West. My mate sent me this, um, Leon the Professional. I've actually got a Japanese DVD. It was the only one way you could see the director's cut and then they released like this version and all that. Um, Bleak Le Rat, which is a French graffiti artist talking about his art and stuff. That shouldn't be there. I'm going to put that with the music stuff. If you like graffiti and art and stuff, it's worth, worth tracking down. George Romero's Bruiser. This is an old Dutch DVD. This was the only way you could see it at that time. It came out long before no one uh, had put it out. Um, it was kind of dumped, this movie. And I haven't watched this in a long while. I should really watch it because I didn't really like it upon first watch. Splinter, an absolute classic um, modern horror. Um, you really like this. I've, I've watched this numerous times. Haven't upgraded. Should do. Needs a, needs a 4K and some extras and stuff like that. And last but not least, I've got a sealed up copy of Manball. These were 50p uh, and I had a load. I, I was given a load away when I used to do the film shows. Uh, and I think I've got, I'm sure I've got a couple of copies down there. But yeah, <laughs> Manball, which is um, done by, I can't think of the director's name, but he's done like the trauma films and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it. Another release. Another another stack, sorry, and um, yeah, going to crack on with that. What those two there? Like I said, I'm not going to balance precariously on this chair, and it's got me lamp up there in the way as well with some glare. But um, thanks a lot for watching, tuning in, and uh, yeah, thanks for for commenting and subscribing. Really appreciate it.